y'all. How y'all doing today? I went to the King Dollar, which was the first time I've been to it. As long as I've lived here in Bryan, I've never been to the store. <laughs> so I went there today and I was pleasantly surprised. There was a lot of the, what you would think a dollar store is made, it has in it, you know, like the really cheaply made type stuff. There was stuff like that there, but there was actually some decent stuff there. Kind of like when you go to the Dollar Tree and, and some of the stuff that we see there. Um, so I was actually surprised. I didn't get as much as I would, would have liked to have gotten, but I did go ahead and get some stuff. I was kind of concerned about what the price would be so everything that I did get that I'm going to show you was $1.59. A little more than what I wanted to pay, but you know, it, it, it's still decent as far as the price. So, um, and then at the very end, there's some stuff that, uh, three things that I got from the Walmart yesterday on clearance because of the spring, um, Easter stuff and I did grab three things there from the clearance stuff that I want to share with you as well. So let's go ahead and get into this and um, let me show you what I got. So again, this is from King Dollar. I found Reese's. I love Reese's. So these here are the Merry Messages. They're the candies from Christmas time. Um, so I'm thinking that these are pretty decent size, but it just says Reese's Peanut Butter, Merry Messages, uh, Milk Chocolate, and Peanut Butter Cream. It says a personalized, personalize your own blank foils. I have no idea what that means. So this here is an eight ounce bag. Um, and before I show you this, I do want to say, the one thing that I did not like about this store is there was quite a bit of stuff there that um, like a few different food items that I wanted to get. Thank goodness I looked at the date. There was stuff in there from 2020. And I actually told the lady up front. And yeah, just, you know, like, what can I do type situation. And I told her, I said, that's, that's not good for y'all to have stuff out there that's not considered edible. That's very dangerous. But everything I've got, there is a good date on it. Um, this one actually is um, August of 22. So this stuff will go, the date is, um, will go out in August, but yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and open these. I feel like I'm kind of dragging along here. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Do not have my strength. Okay, so they're like the half a size of an egg, you know, like an egg. So they're, they're like that. That's still pretty decent. So yeah, there's the Reese's. I got those. Those will go in the candy jar. Then the other ones I got are Rolos. Oh my God. Another one of my favorites. This one here says Rolo Pretzel Delights. What? Oh, you can make something with these. Okay, so this is the actual Rolo candies. My bad. It has a recipe on the back where you can make Rolo pretzel delights in five minutes. It says uh, you'll need small pretzels, pecan halves, a Rolo creamy caramel in chocolate candy. Okay, so yeah, it says lay pretzels on a cookie sheet. Top each pretzel with uh, with 
unwrapped Rolo candy and bake in the oven at 250 for three to five minutes. Press pecan onto Rolo candy, let cool, and be delighted. That sounds yummy. So here's, here's the recipe that I was telling y'all about. That sounds so yummy. And then the date on this one is 11 of 11:22. So this this is good for a little bit longer. And of course you know what Rolo candies look like. I just wanted to know how big the Reese's were. So then the next three items are the same thing but they're different flavors. Okay. So y'all remember me telling y'all about these these licorice these are the Wiley Wallaby. I've, I haven't seen these flavors. This is the reason I got these, because I Dollar Tree hasn't carried these yet. Um, they have the strawberry, the watermelon, and then that nasty black licorice. <sighs> so this one here is the classic red, so it's a strawberry flavor. And it is good uh, January 17th of 2023. And this is a four ounce bag, four ounce bag. The next flavor I got is Huckleberry. Have any of y'all ever had Huckleberry? Have you even heard of Huckleberry? Besides in, I wanna say Tombstone. Is it Tombstone? I'll be your Huckleberry. <laughs> I, I can't remember what that go movie that was in. But y'all know what I'm talking about. So yes, four ounce bag, still the same. And this one is good, 819 of 22. I'm, I'm curious about this one for sure. Never had that flavor. And then this is another one. This one is blueberry pomegranate. What? Four ounce bag. And it is 916 of 22. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I may have to go on to Amazon and just see how many different flavors there are of this. I'm gonna go ahead and open these guys because I, I, I've been meaning to get a video up for y'all and I just, it's just been crazy. Okay, so let me show you. I know y'all probably wondering how this licorice. All right, see how thick that is? Like, that is as thick as my doggone finger. And it's not hollow. It's solid. That is a solid piece of licorice. That thing is huge. Yeah. That, that's good. That's the strawberry. I like that. Excuse me for a minute. You need to be, be quiet. Quit moving around. Be still. Thank you. Ruger in his noisy collar. So this one is the Huckleberry. I must smell it. It kind of smells like grape. That is weird. Hmm. I want to say it tastes kind of like blueberry. Kind of like a grape blueberry combination. It, it tastes good. I mean, it's not a favorite, but it does taste good. Huh. That's very interesting. The next one is the act, is actual blueberry. The blueberry pomegranate. Man, I could smell it just coming up really fast. 
Okay, so yeah, this one is kind of like a purple because it's the blue and the, the red from the pomegranate kind of look. Okay. Yeah. Can definitely smell the blueberry. It's not horrible. I'm not really a fan of this one. I don't know. It says where tangy meets tart meets sweet. That's weird. I'm not gonna let them go to waste, but yeah. This one says delicious, juicy, and oh so wild. And this one says a delicious twist of fruit chewy goodness okay well there that's those and then I've never seen this flavor of uh, Arizona this one is the Jack Nichols golden bear light lemonade but it's actually strawberry lemonade there is a see there's a strawberry on the side with the bear right there and then it's got it's pink and it's got the bear on it. I've never seen a can like this. I I I mean I see Arizona's all the time. They have them in the Dollar Tree. Plus, you know, other stores, but I've never seen this specific can. I've never seen this. And I like strawberry lemonade. I like cherry lemonade and limeade and the different flavors and you go to Sonic and but yeah, I've never seen this one before. That's really interesting. So I'm, I'm gonna try that. And then of course, I went down the pet section and I found several different uh, like snack type things for the dogs that I wanna get, but these two stood out to me. So I went ahead and I got those, these two. Excuse me. It's not like I'm not gonna go back cause I'm probably gonna go do a walkthrough, maybe a couple walkthroughs cause the store is pretty big. But anyways, that's that's another video. This here is, is the Lassie brand. Um, it says Natural Way Selects uh, raw, uh, Chicken, Rice, and Cranberry Formula Jerky Strips. No artificial flavors, natural dog treats, seven ounces, made with real chicken, uh, money back guarantee, made in the USA. So there's those, and it says that it says feed as a treat. So these these are supposed to be treats, and it says what it has in the um, on the back. It says what it is, how much protein, fat, fiber. And it says all of that. So let me go ahead and open this because I want to see what it looks like. And I know he's over here. He and moved again. Let's go ahead and open this real quick and see. Oh, okay, so they are, they're like, they're flat. Good grief, Cheryl. Okay, so it's, it's a flat strip. Let's see. There we go, woo. Come here, buddy, sit. Good boy. You want a num num? Up. Oh. Good boy. He's like, I will taste them for you, mommy. Okay. So I will let him have that. Of course, I split it in half, so I'm going to give Prissy one too. So then the last uh, dog treat is this is called Chaos and Cuddles. I've, I've never heard of this one. It's, it's a pet. Mess Travel Cleaning Kit. Oh, that's right. This isn't a, a snack. I got this for my grand pup, for my son and my bonus daughter, daughter-in-law, whatever, you know, she is a bonus daughter. I got this for Callie, for Miss Callie. 
They like to travel, and when they do, they take Miss Callie with them. So I bought this for them. This looked really, really cool. Now, for $1.59, yeah, this is definitely worth it because what it has is, um, so it says, by plane, train, or automobile, your furry companion is by your side, sniffing out fun and leading you in, you, leading you into adventures. He's always there for you. When you go and nature calls, Chaos and Cuddles Pet Mess Travel Cleaning Kit is there for him or her. We go where the, your pet goes. So it has stain and odor remover, waste bags and hand cleaning wipes, absorbent cotton towel, and micro scrub brush. So let me show you the back. So that's everything that it has inside the bag. So I will I will probably be going back and getting more of these just because. I, I can put one of these in all of our vehicles and I can get several of these and give them to my kids so they can put them, they have multiple vehicles in their family as well. So this here is a great present. I, I do like this. I really do. So I want to go back and get some more. And then one of mine. Or um, eventually I'll open them. One, I'm not going to open this one. Because I want to go make sure I can go back and get more. Because I do want it to be a present. And I'm afraid if I go back <laughs> like Dollar Tree, they're all going to be gone. So... This one I'm going to leave closed, but if I'm able to go back and get more and I'll do another haul for y'all with the stuff that I get, I will open one of mine so that way we can look inside and see what it is inside. So, but $1.59 for this, guys. I think that's a fantastic deal. Then the last thing that I got from the King Dollar is um, this ponytail set, and it's by Scrunchy. It's a six piece set and it just says ponytail. It says I'm for thick hair, which I don't really have thick hair per se, but I liked it because it had six pieces for the price. They had other ones that were scrunchy. Like I said, they do have good, good uh, brand names there, but um, I just like getting more for my money. So I went ahead and I got this one and it has two pink, two clear and two yellow which like I said I really like so but that's everything from King Dollar now like I said the three things I got all my stuff sitting right here in front of me the three things that I did get from the clearance area well it was more like the end of spring Easter stuff was on one area and then it, you went past that there was the clearance area that was down that one long line I got two things over there no three things over there no anyways I got three things total potato potato this was in the spring stuff I have been looking for these beads not this color but I've been looking for these beads for since last year trying to find and even when I saw them on Dollar Tree they were gone they were just I couldn't find them period so this one says that it's six foot long and normally priced it was ten dollars and forty eight cents and it's got this yellow tassel on it which I'm not going to use I'm actually going to paint these I'll just go ahead and open it for you so there, now you can see them. I, I'm going to paint these. I don't know what color yet, but I'm going to paint them. And I want to take this off, and I have a bunch of different colored yarns that I've bought, and I'm going to figure out what color yarn tassel I'm going to put on it. Normally $10.48, I got it half of that. It was like five something. So basically $5 for this big O for the six foot long beads. So I was super excited about that. 
Then also in the, um, oh, also over in the Easter stuff, I found this. These are here. That's what those look like. I stuck them in my little jar. I took them out of the bag. It is the milk chocolate honey graham M&Ms. So it's um, graham crackers on the inside. It's a chocolate, the chocolate, you know, like the M&M on the outside, and then it just has like a graham cracker on the inside. And they're tiny. They're not really big. So when you eat them, so like here's three colors. This is the three colors. Try to do this so y'all can see it and they don't fall. So there's yellow, light yellow, and brown. But yeah, it's just like a little graham cracker kind of thing inside of it. So I wanted to try them. Every time they come out with new M&Ms, I buy a bag, but it just made it even better that these were on sale. And I honestly, I don't remember <laughs> how much those were. It was, everything was half off on that spring Easter section. Now this, they had several different ones. I got the cheapest one I could find. I wanted to buy all of them, but I had to tell myself. And my husband was there with me. He was like, you said you weren't gonna spend any money. I'm like, I know, okay. Oh. All right, which one do I really want? So, I went ahead and I got this specific one. This is the Waverly Chalk Paint. And this color is called crystal normally it's six dollars and 54 cents and i got it for 4.90 so to me it looks like it might be kind of like a grip oh it oh it says matte okay never mind it says it could be like a grayish blue oh it's not open well, isn't that fun? And I can't open stuff, guys. My my hands won't allow me to open them up. Oops. I might be able to get it open. Yee. Please don't make a mess. Don't make a mess. Oh, looky there. I got it. <gasps> okay, so I got enough of it up so y'all could see it. It's it's a very pale blue. Kind of like something that you would see. Yeah, kind of like a gray blue. It, it reminds me of something that you would do like the new shoreline um, that's at the Dollar Tree. Uh, nautical, something nautical, you know, um, beach theme and um, what do they call that with the lighthouses and stuff like that you know just nautical ocean type stuff I got paint on my fingers but anyways <laughs> this quick little Dollar Tree haul just turned into a ramble and uh, all kinds of stuff but Anyways, I just want to thank y'all for coming and just uh, sitting and enjoying this little video that I decided to throw together real quick. <laughs> My mod podge of, of items here, mostly candy. And, uh, but yeah, I, 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 I've got some other videos that I need to get out to y'all and I'm going to try to get on that. But um, until then, I just want to say thank you very much for coming and enjoying my chaos because <laughs> I feel like that's what this video is. It's kind of chaotic. <laughs> but all right, guys, y'all have a good one and I can't wait to see y'all in the next video. Until then, happy trails.